So I'm gonna <laughs> come back and kind of show some skills with uh, with nut yeah, plates. Sam is here and he's gonna show how to drill out uh, how to drill out nut plates. We have two nut plates in this little in this little piece. So Sam will show how he um, so you can start doing it. So the first thing he's gonna do, even though these are AD rivets and they have a dimple, he's gonna take his punch and kind of accentuate that dimple so that it'll it'll just help. Uh, his drill bit when he gets to that point it'll help his drill bit kind of stay centered on that rivet and now the key is you don't want to uh, um, you don't want to drill too far down um, in a nut plate because you don't want to you don't want to you don't want to damage the nut plate at all so he's gonna put a 40 bit he's putting a 40 bit uh, in his drill and in theory, if he gets right in the center, he should just be able to drill out just the head part and then, and then the rivet will fall apart. So he's gonna make sure the drill bit is right centered. Drill straight. And it might be too little, but. Oh, is that small? You started with something. Is that a 40 you have yeah. on there? Okay. There you go, the head, the head popped off, so we got it just perfect. And then he should be able to take his punch, because that first one, the head popped off, didn't it? No. Oh, it didn't? That's... If the head didn't pop off, then you have to... I thought the head popped off. There you go. So the the, the nut plate was removed. Um, the heads came off, so you can see here in the nut plate that the shop heads of the rivet are still in here. So he can drill though. He could probably pull those out. My guess is he can punch them out or maybe pull them out with a little needle nose. If he had to, he could uh, drill a little bit more just right there uh, to get those out. Okay, now what I want to do is sh take a few minutes here and show how to use uh, the tool for uh, inserting nut plates or for at least uh, drilling out the holes for nut plates. So the first thing you want to do is figure out where uh, your screw is going to go when you, for your nut plate. So where, where the screw part of your nut plate is going to go. And then what you want to dr do is drill a 9 64th hole. So I have a 9 64th hole. That's where I want my screw to go. So let's say I'm... Uh, making a nut plate to put in an inspection panel or something like that. So that's where my screw is going to go. I take this little tool right here. This is a nut plate uh, tool. This pilot on this side is a 9 64th pilot. So that's why we drill a 9 64th hole. Then what I'm going to do is insert the side that has the one pilot. I'm going to insert it into my hole. And what that does for me is it gives me the perfect spot uh, to drill um, for one of my rivets on my on my nut plate. So that hole right there, that hole in the tool is meant for a 40 bit. So I drill that out with a 40 bit and what I get, when I drill it out with a 40 bit, is that. So now I have my one hole that's 9 64th. I have a uh, number 40 hole next to it. So now I take the tool, I flip it around to the side that has the two pilots. So now I put in, I put in my, uh, my tool here. And now both, both of those uh, pilots are in those holes that I've drilled. And now I just drill this with a, four, with a 40 bit. So now I drill that with a 40 bit, and then lo and behold, what I get is right here, I get uh, my perfectly sized and spaced uh, holes for the nut plate. Now, that center hole, now I can go and drill that up to, you know, whatever size I'm gonna, I'm gonna need it. If I'm putting like a size 10 screw in there or whatever, then I wanna put a, um, size up that hole because 9 64th is too small for that screw but now I can size up that hole to whatever size I need uh, and then uh, I'll 
show how to do how to insert uh, the nut plate here. So now we got the counter sinker and they'll take a little bit off. It's actually a deburring tool, but it happens to be a hundred degree counter sink. And this material, this material is like 50,000th here, so it's definitely uh, thick enough to counter sink for these three rivets. So the key with counter sinking is just take a tiny bit off because you can always take more. You can't, uh, you can't add, you can't add more material. So he's just going to take a little bit and then test it with his rivet. Once he gets one side good, then he'll just do the same thing to the other side. And the good news is after you do it once, you kind of know, you kind of know what it should look like. Now it's just time to uh, grab the nut plate. Those are the right length rivets. You already checked the. He already checked the lengths of those rivets, so he knows those are good. Um, you'll use a Cleco on one of them, so take one of the rivets out. So you can hold the nut plate in there with a Cleco. And when you put then you can go ahead and squeeze. No, you didn't. You have it. You have it right. You have it right? Nope. No, it's gonna fit. Okay. So he's got his uh, squeezer set up with a flat on each side because these are 426 rivets. And he's gonna squeeze, squeeze one side of that nut plate. Ready, pull that Clico out. There you go, and then you squeeze the nut plate on there. And now that nut plate is attached. Um, and how that might work, Sam, do you want to grab like a Phillips screwdriver? <laughs> so, how that might work, we have another one set up here with, um, with a nut plate, you got that screw, and then uh, we can, nut plates are used a lot in um, inspection plates, inspection panels, cowlings, um, a, lot of, a lot of airplanes use nut plates attached to the to the basically to the airframe and then it holds on the cowling so let's pretend this is part of a cowling um, and then we can just attach attach that piece of the cowling to that nut plate go ahead no do it right here on that one just like 
just do one. So now the nut plate acts like, so you only need, you don't need uh, to get on the back uh, a nut with a wrench. Now you can just use a screwdriver to attach, like I said, an inspection plate or a cowling or something like that.